In Bloomsburg, a lot of people came together and lit candles in memory of Erica Schultz. Sunday, her family's worst fears came true weeks after she went missing. Schultz was found dead and the suspect is now in custody. Those close to Erica are making sure that she's remembered not for what was done to her, but for who she was. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Forback tells us how. Wednesday night, a community remembered Erica Schultz by doing what she loved, singing. She loved to sing, and one of the memories that we wanted to hold dear to us tonight was that her voice would be heard in heaven and she could hear our voices back to her and singing um, her favorite songs. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. 26-year-old Erica Schultz was loved by many. Nearly 100 people attended the drive-in candlelight vigil at her church, Trinity United Methodist in Bloomsburg. Pastor Kelly Coker Ross led the ceremony and spoke on behalf of Erica's family. Ross says a group of women at the church organized the prayer vigil to thank everyone who tried to help find Erica and supported her family. The tragedy that happened, the community still mourns. So we wanted to um, have a time with the community to lift up, um, to lift up Erica and to lift up the family in prayer. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Erica loved helping others. She was actively involved with local social service organizations. She was on the autism spectrum and won several medals for running and walking in the Special Olympics. But Ross says it wasn't about the medals for Erica. It was about making friends. Erica was on her way to becoming a global messenger for the Special Olympics so she could inspire other athletes. The touch of your hand says you'll catch me if ever I fall. Ross says Erica's legacy will be one of love and light. Her story is not over and it lives in us. Erica should be remembered as a light. She should be remembered as a person who loved everybody she came in contact with. I've never known a light this bright before. When you say nothing at all. Churches across Bloomsburg will ring their bells at 7 o'clock Thursday night in memory of Erica Schultz. For now reporting in Bloomsburg, Caroline Forback, Eyewitness News. And Erica's family wants to help others just like Erica did in her lifetime. In lieu of flowers, they're accepting donations for local causes that were important to Erica, like the CMSU Advocacy Group and Special Olympics of Columbia and Montour Counties. Donations can be made through McMichael Funeral Home in Benton, Pennsylvania.